Hi guys, it's Cryptic Cinematics in part 2 on how to make a um, cool cinematic text intro, so let's get started. Open up Adobe Photoshop and you want to click File. You, you want to make the width and height 500 and you want to go Edit, Fill, and you want to fill it with this um, Spider Man hexagon sort of texture or pattern. Yeah, and you want to then click on your layers. Um, category and you want to double click the layer background layer and call it BG. You then want to um, make a new layer, call down control and press R. You then want to drag the, the ruler out to make guides, make, make horizontal and vertical guides and wait until it snaps to the middle like this. And you want to get your um, gradient tool and you want to select this gradient it reverse and radial and you want to hold down shift from the middle to the bottom drag okay. and once you're happy with that let go control R V turn off the show guides option so click here click that control T make both the width and height 200 press enter twice Blend mode multiply, control and click the background layer, hold down control press E. You then want to yeah, rename it to BG again. Whoops, not BGF, BG. And you want to go image, adjustment, brightness, contrast, and put them both down to the down and up to the extreme. So contrast 100, brightness minus 100. Click OK. And you want to get your text tool. Uh, select the font Century Gothic and you'll have it installed, don't worry, you don't have to download anything apart from the Spider-Man hexagon tech uh, pattern and I'll put a link in the description for that so once you've done that you want to make your text white, click OK and make it the size 250 depending on what you're going to put in there type in your initials for your name, oh yeah also make it bold okay. Uh, control A, get your move tool, vertically and horizontally center it, double click it, give it a, um, uh, yeah I'll just move it over here, I give it bevel and emboss, make that this one here, select this one, put them both up to, yeah actually I'll tell you what, just keep searching for something you like. That's this is best for making glass texture. I'm trying to make it like a thick, sort of plasticky texture, sort of thing. And that's quite nice as well. But yeah, use you can use that if you want. Tell you what, you might want to give it a gradient overlay. And yeah, ninety. Make the black. Nine, we're not nine. Make the white. C C C C C C. It's looking good. Uh, you then want to give it a satin. Uh, leave these options as they are. You want to bring up the depth. Tell you what. Change it to this layer here. Give it a contour. Hundred anti alias. Uh, it's looking all right at the moment. Might want to change this one to 666, 666, so it's not too bright. That looks nice so far. Uh, give it a drop shadow. Make sure that drop shadow is um, at a distance of 10, capacity of 100, and size of 2. Nah, 5 will do. Um, uh, 
Um, just keep playing around with it, really. Give it a you know, glow. Make it center white. Color dodge. Maybe you want to drop the opacity a bit. You want to give it a pattern overlay of carbon fiber. So I will also put a link in the description for these. So I think it's the gradient overlay getting in the way. So now nah, you can you can use either one you like, I guess. Gradient or pattern. Um, now nah, that'll do. Yep. So you can really do whatever you want with it. Um, you might want to. I think that's all I got. So this was a nice, quick tutorial just to give you some tips on if you don't want to go too extreme with your logos and graphics and things. Nice, simple, simple, techy carbon fiber like or maybe just hexagon logo yeah so remember to thumbs up comment and subscribe and remember to check out my latest video after this if i ever do make another video and i will don't worry but yeah check out my channel make sure you do all that and i'll see you in the next video